Hey guys, I just bought my first K truck. This is uh, my very first Japanese import. It was kind of f uh, challenging to get everything done. So finally, this baby is mine. So why did I pick the Suzuki? I was in Philippines and uh, I saw them hauling heavy loads with these. So I'm like, I need to get one of these. So I had choices of like, you know, Honda, Acti, Daihatsu. I actually, I really like the Daihatsu. I like the front lights of the Daihatsu. And I ended up with this such a amazing fun little car the exterior it's not the best but I'm kind of thinking about fixing everything up um, this scratch was there so I knew about that and like when you're nearby you see a lot of blemishes <sighs> Then the Suzuki badge, I want it clean, so I remove the badge, I need to remove the glue. I want it all clean uh, without the decal. Uh, I don't know, I might just put it back. Uh, it has super low miles. Like really low miles. It has 37,000 um, kilometers in it and i love the interior interior is super clean these seats are usually torn in many of the k trucks because these are work vehicles um this one interior is super nice and the other part is the bed the bed doesn't have any scratches like here and there there are tiny scratches but the, actually the the bed is the nicest thing and I thought maybe it was repainted I don't think so like it's it looks faded and original um, and uh, so I was like it's odd the outside is kind of like um, like the scratches there scratch there uh, but the bed is Staying nice and clean no scratches maybe they had a mat uh, something I have no idea and the underside also super clean it's like looking really nice the So no rattles, no play in these because I kind of adjusted these. Um, this one was slightly had play right in this hinge. So I actually this is the one that's kind of loose. It was like rattling and I fix, I adjusted it and it's pretty good. And let me show you the engine. Engine is what I don't like about the Suzuki is the whole seat comes out and you gotta put it somewhere look at this I mean it's that it doesn't weigh as very much but it's a hassle oh, I need two hands so that is the motor it's a three cylinder motor let me go to the other side and remove the other seat bottom look at that the engine is clean uh, it was really dusty though uh, I had to wash it off um, I have the jack but I don't know where the tools are at I'm gonna remove the timing belt cover and inspect the quality of the timing belt I might get that changed if it looks really bad or you know I'm gonna put that later um, and I have the original floor mats the middle one also I have it it's just 
had a crack on it. I'm going to repair that. The door cards are really good. Like, I love the interior in this. I love this. And the cover also. I removed it and they weren't rusted. They came out much easy. Um, this is it. I freaking love it. I really do love it. While driving, it revs through the whole range. So nice. It's so cool. You have the most fun at low speeds with K cars. And first two gears are very short. So I kind of start with the second gear. Oh, another cool thing. Thing is, it has an extra low gear and four wheel drive and an axle lock. That's not a diff lock. I think it's like a center do locks, like you know, Land Cruisers. I think. I'm not sure. I don't have AC, but I don't need AC with this. It's like short driving. Um, even the coolant, it looks really nice. It doesn't show like the maintenance is done on this no. um, oil changes you can do it from inside that's a 14 millimeter and uh, from the other side you can get to the filter and the diff is right there everything is super easy to do I'm loving this truck in the bed that's the best part look at this Oh yeah, and I'm still learning. Uh, I have a little bit. Actually, I'm gonna remove this so I can fold the, uh, this side down. Look at that. And I can drop total flatbed. Isn't that cool? And you have a rear light. Uh, I might wire it up to a big fog light so I can have a huge like a light so it, it's bright uh, I might change all the lights to LEDs I'm gonna do a paint job up front maybe the whole truck get this truck really nice uh, because the paint is kind of painted paint is kind of faded it's probably sitting in the Sun and white it's not the best probably they put like the cheapest paint jobs in these trucks these are work vehicles then I have these, what is it called, vent guards or whatever. Uh, and I'm going to do the bumper. Uh, it's kind of, it's not really faded actually. I might put some treatment, get this baby really nice and clean. And the other best part is this. Uh, that's the keys. Hold on, let me. Okay, this is the best part. Look at this. Look at how. That's it. It starts up. <laughs> it's. It starts in a split second. All you need is like I don't know. It's like. It's a healthy motor. That's the sound of a healthy motor. No smoke, nothing. I mean, what do you what do you expect from a low mileage example? And you have original exhaust here. Where is the exhaust? 
It has Suzuki badging all over. Everything is nice, rough, free. <laughs> Thank you for watching. So I'll be doing the maintenance and I'll be making videos. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll be making videos and uh, of all the maintenance. And I have prior records here. All the oil changes. They put a sticker here, I guess. And four wheel drive is on the fly, like that. Boom. And axle lock. And it does well off-roading. I took it, the first thing I did was checking the four-wheel drive system. I took it off-roading in a park. <laughs> uh, I mean, that was like uphill, steep hill. Uh, there is no way it will go up in two-wheel drives. This was crawling really well. All right. Thank you for watching. More content will be coming soon.